it's set hey what's up guys and welcome back to ask nk so the blender market winter sale is now on and for those who like to get all the goodies that are currently available on blender market then this might be the right time for you to come through and grab all of the stuff that you've placed on your wish list for 25 percent off and this is running from now till march the 3rd of 2025 there's a ton of things that you can get here so whether you like to get the physical effects or maybe you like to get the lazy forest or stuff that are available by cassie sheep or possibly you're into animation and you like to take a look at auto rig pro or maybe you would like to get any of the tools from the folks at the fuse studio which by the way they've recently released the procedural stadium which now allows you to create different procedural stadiums these are more and now available so whether you're thinking about getting any of the products that they have here or maybe you like to get a light wrangler this itself is also doing a 25 percent off there are more stuff doing 25 percent off like the simply cloth and also some other interesting cloth tools that we've covered on the channel before so most of these are also doing discounts and you might simply want to come through and check them out there's also some other interesting stuff like soyoyo that's currently doing the m panel sub tab this is also another interesting tool that I've talked about on the channel. So if you're thinking about decluttering your end panel and having access to tons of stuff, playing with that workspace, getting the best out of your entire UI inside of Blender, then you can simply consider looking at this. This is pretty similar to what we have with clean panels from Amandeep, and this looks pretty cool. And speaking about Amandeep, clean panels version 7 is also included on the sale. And if you like to get any of this bundle stuff that he has, or maybe you like to get his hard surface modeling tool, which is run tools and pea cutter, then this is also available. And if you're looking for more hard surface tools, then you might want to consider taking a look at the Fluent Tree, which is a stressless modeling tool, as this tool comes with a ton of features that can allow you to start creating that hard surface model that you've always wanted. More so, you can also consider taking a look at Grid Modeler, and this is something that we've covered on the channel before. This is a beautiful tool for those who like to easily and conveniently create stuff in 3D especially had surface model as Kushiro has definitely made this one super available and it is worth checking out. And for those who like to learn stuff, there's a ton of things that you can now learn. If you're thinking about getting started with learning how to create 3D cars inside and out, then CG Masters is definitely a good pick. You can simply go ahead and check this out as they cover every single thing in terms of creating vehicles. If you like to learn some procedural stuff, then there's a ton of procedural tutorials currently available by 3D Tutor. This would definitely get you up to speed in terms of building scenes and worlds with geometry nodes. And of course, if you like to learn even more stuff, then you might want to take a look at the folks at creative stream as they've just recently rolled out the game asset workflow and this is a complete blender guide on how you can create game assets for your next project and this covers a lot of things from how you get started with modeling all the way to sculpting the topology uvs texturing baking and all that this definitely gets you going Alongside this, for those who like to learn even more, then the folks at CG Cookie does have a set of cool and nice tutorials that can get you going. Whether you're thinking about creating realistic human portraits in Blender, stylized base meshes, or maybe you want to start creating your own Blender script, then you can consider checking this out. There's a lot of things that you can learn from the folks at CG Cookie, and they've also recently created fundamentals, which deals with fundamentals of several things, from modeling to sculpting, texturing, compositing, lighting, materials and shading, and and also physics. And speaking about learning stuff, if you're thinking about getting started with motion graphics, then you might want to consider taking a look at Bucket 3D. As Bucket 3D has created these tutorials and made them available, at the same time, he has also made the real-time materials for Blender super available as well. So if you just want to test this, you can simply get the demo file, which contains 40 materials. However, if you like to get the main one, then you can consider checking this one out as well. More so, Ryan King's art has also created a couple of interesting materials and assets, and all of these are also available. And it's also worth mentioning that Abu Boam has also made some nice materials and shaders. And for those who like to make some stylized stuff, you can either rely on some of the stuff that you have right here, or you can check out the folks at Double Gum, as all of your stuff are fully procedural. So whether you're trying to create woolly stuff, maybe you like to make some felt, some fur, some fuzz, or hair effect on your model, then woolly is definitely going to get you there. But if this isn't your thing, maybe you like to create some stuff with clay, then the Clay Doh 3 is also amazing, as this comes with 13 different presets, which you can pick up and work with. But then, if you like to make anime style stuff, then Kamikaze 2.1 is now here. This comes with over 200 plus shaders and modifiers, which will definitely get you going, especially if you like to start creating that anime style material that you're looking for. 
and we can talk about materials without talking about Santos library. Santos library is continually growing and currently has over a thousand plus procedural assets that deals with procedural materials and also some procedural stuff. And this includes the node generator, decal tools, material editor, and node baking tools. And the cool thing with Santos library is these are fully procedural and they are continually updating time and time again. And this is currently on sale. Hex Cutter by Curtis Holt is also on sale at this point. Hex Cutter is more like a collection of node groups which are designed to help you scatter textures around objects. And this uses various techniques to make that happen. And that's not all. Curtis Holt has also created some interesting stuff like the Afterglow, which is really cool for those who like to create interesting lighting patterns for their renders. And more so, if you're thinking about getting started with a modular workspace, then the modular workspace is also super cool. This, of course, does come with a lot of things that can get you going, from the shadow catcher all the way to some interesting looking assets, down to some add-ons that you can work with. These look pretty cool. And for those who are thinking about effects, then the folks at Motion Dreams have a lot of effects that they're currently putting out on sale. And if you're thinking about vegetation, then there's a good number of vegetation tools that you can definitely rely on. So we've talked about these ones before. Botanic is one of the best ones that you can get on the market, and you should definitely go ahead and check it out. This comes with a ton of things, which include scatter, having high quality stuff, and it's just all around beautiful. They also have the traffic tool, which allows you to throw in beautiful cars in your scene and get animating. And the same thing can also be said for the folks at B Production, as they have vegetation tools, they have garden tools, and as they have vegetation asset, garden asset, and forest assets that you can work with. Interestingly, they also have a ton of other cool add-ons that you can also pick up and work with, from their car library tool, which is also pretty cool, down to their global light textures, which is amazing. And for those who are looking for scattering tools that they can work with, then scatter is an amazing tool that can get you going. So you can simply rely on scatter and do lots of cool things. Scatter is by far one of the most advanced tools that you can use in scattering things inside of Blender. And if you're just an asset person that are looking for nice assets that you can work with, then the folks at Asset Kits, they do have cool stuff right here. So all of these, I'm gonna link them in the description. For those who are thinking about, you know, rigging their vehicles, there's a couple of rigging tools that you can use. We've covered a lot of these ones on the channel. You can go ahead and check them out. All of these are currently doing sales. These are pretty cool stuff that you can go ahead and pick up. Smouse is also doing something that is pretty nice. He has just recently released three different kinds of bundle. So if you're thinking about getting Smouse everything, which is literally everything that he has, bundled into one, then you can go ahead and check it out. The Plus bundle deals with the IS Plus, the Shader Plus, and the Gobo Plus. Alongside the bundles, there's also the Shader Plus and Glassware bundle, which is now here. And if you're into Gribble, then there's a ton of Gribble tools that you can come through pick up and start working with. And for those who are thinking about facial performance, then the Face It tool is a nice one. Now, I've already talked about Face It before. Face It just simply allows you to use your mobile device and create facial performance with your rigs right inside of Blender. This comes with an add-on that allows you to simply map your characters easily and you can get going with it. And for those who like to create human models, then you might want to consider taking a look at Human Generator. This is an amazing tool that can allow you to create variations of human characters and tweak them to your liking. More so, if you already have characters and you like to throw in nice textures on them, then the Gobo skin is an amazing tool that you can work with. There's also the Humanify one-click skin shader here as well. So we've already talked about these ones as well. We did make a full video. I'm going to link these ones in the description for those who like to check them out. And you might find these ones super handy. And for those that are thinking about stylized stuff, then you might want to see Tinkerboy. Tinkerboy has created a human primitive tool which allows you to work with stuff nicely. Tinkerboy has also created a couple of nicer stuff that you can find on this page, and we've covered a few of these. So if you'd like to work with any of these ones here, or maybe they fit into what you're trying to create, then you can consider checking them out. And speaking about characters, the folks at 3D, they do have amazing set of tools that you can work with. Now, the idea behind their tools is for you to easily create motion graphic characters and animate them quickly inside of Blender. And for those that are thinking about sculpting, then we've got the Sculpt Layer tools, which is currently available. And if you're just looking for sculpting brushes that you can work with, VK Game Dev does have some amazing ones, and some other creators have also made some nice ones, which I'm also going to link in the description. So tons of things are currently available on Blender Market right now. For those who like to take a look at this, these and more are currently available. We did cover a couple of nice, cool new Blender add-ons. So just in case you missed that out, you can simply go ahead, check out the channel, see what's available, pick them up and start working with them. So these and more are going to be in the description. 
So just in case you'd like to use them, you can simply grab them right now. They're on sale and having a 25% discount. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.